Welcome to this edition of Tech Talk. I'm Eric Long, Technical Services here at American Weather Star. Today I'm going to be going over adhesion tests. I'm going to be demonstrating on this piece of mod bit that I've power coated with silicone. I'm going to demonstrate using two products. I'm going to use our acrylic 211 and I'm going to use our silicone 410 for this demonstration. Whenever you go up on a roof and you're thinking it may be a coatings candidate, we highly recommend that you perform an adhesion test with whatever the base product is that will be going on that roof first. If the system calls for primer, use a primer. If the system doesn't call for a primer, use the base coat. Also on that flip note, if the system does call for primer, I would recommend also doing the adhesion test with the base coat to see if a primer is even necessary. So in order to perform the adhesion test, all you'll need is your base coatings, some two inch strips of fabric. Uh, if you have four inch fabric, you can use that. If you have six inch fabric, you may want to cut it down or you can use it as well. It's whatever you have. You also need a fish scale for when you actually go up there to do your pull test, a couple of chip brushes, and my little trade secret, a few rocks. So when you're up on the roof and you're performing the adhesion test, it's very simple. First, you're gonna take your coating and you're gonna basically bat it down at 30 wet mils. Just brush it on there. It doesn't even have to be precise, so a wet mill gauge isn't really needed. Just remember that if you go too thick with the coating, the resistance you get when you do your initial pull may not be the coating being ripped from the substrate, it could just be the coating itself ripping. Once you apply your coating down, then you're going to embed the fabric into the coating. You can use the same brush, just brush it in there with a little extra coating on it to ensure that the fabric gets fully encapsulated in there. Once you have the fabric down, you want to ensure you have about six inches hanging out. So that way you're able to tie it in a knot so you can hook your fish scale into it to read the poundage when you do your pull test. That's where these little rocks come in. If you're on a roof, wind blows. Last thing you want is your fabric to get blown back over into the coating and have it cure that way and leave you with a basically blob of coating that you can't get a pull test from because your fabric's embedded into it. So just take a little rock and just put it down on the fabric to keep it from blowing back into it. The next product we're gonna be applying is the silicone 410. The only reason why I'm going with two different coatings for this adhesion test demonstration is to give you a good result and a bad result. Same thing applies no matter what coating you're using. If it's a primer and it's a thin primer, just put enough to where it fully encapsulates that fabric in there. So now that I got the adhesion test down, I gotta emphasize the importance of when and how to do these. When you go to look at a roof, I highly recommend doing them in three to four different spots. Some coatings will cure faster than others and the adhesion may come in 24 hours. The adhesion may take one week to fully adhere to the substrate. It could take two weeks. By doing multiple spots, you're able to buy yourself that time to where if you fail that first pull, you can allow yourself to come back a week later and do your second pull without resetting that clock on that timeline. I've already prior done these, so we're ready to do a pull test on the same products in the same substrate that I've just did the adhesion tests on. This is where the fish scale comes in handy. And it's been roughly about a week since I put down the initial coatings. Uh, They're fully cured now. I went ahead and tied the knot in one of them so that way this fish scale can loop right up in there and we can get an adequate pull. I don't really recommend you pushing this hook directly through the fabric because your fabric's gonna rip under circumstances that the coating's well adhered. But then again, you know it passed if that happens. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this fish hook and go ahead and loop it in, and we'll go ahead and start these pull tests, and we'll show you the numbers on what you should achieve on proper adhesion. So the first coating I'm gonna demonstrate on is the silicone. We've applied silicone directly on the silicone. As you can see, when I start to pull, the fabric doesn't start to break away from the substrate until it reaches over five pounds of pressure. That is the passing grade in this circumstance. Remember, it's two pounds per one inch of fabric is a passing grade in the adhesion test. The next coating that we attempted to try is the acrylic over silicone. And when I pull on this acrylic, if it has good adhesion to the silicone, then I will have to use the fish scale. But 
on the slightest pull here, you can see the coating releasing from the substrate. This will confirm that you have poor adhesion and this is not the coating that you need to go with on this roof. So that concludes this adhesion test demonstration. We've went over when to do an adhesion test, how to do an adhesion test, and what numbers you should get on a passing adhesion test. Even though every roof isn't coated, we highly recommend that adhesion test be performed. Stay tuned for the next edition of Tech Talk.